Hello and welcome. Today we shall be taking a look at biotechnology company Bioventix PLC. The company has a market capital of £158 million and is currently ranked 132nd in the UK FTSE Alternative Investment Market Index. In the financial year to June 2018, Bioventix had a turnover of £8 million and an operating profit before tax of £6.8 million, which gave it a margin of 86%. It currently pays an annual dividend yield of 2%, which is paid semi-annually in April and November. This dividend is covered 1.8 times by the earnings per share. Special dividend in 2018 increased this yield to 4.2%. Bioventix, based in Farnham and Soy, was founded in 2003 as a biotechnology company specialising in the creation and supply of high affinity sheep monoclonal antibodies, SMAs, for use in immunodiagnostics. The company was admitted to trade on the alternative investment market in April 2014. The current CEO is Cambridge Science graduate Peter Harrison. He joined Celtec Limited in 1986 to manage their contract antibody production business and in 1991 he joined KS Biomedics Limited and led the management buyout that resulted in the formation of Bioventix. Bioventix employs 12 people full-time to create and supply SMAs for use in medical diagnostics. Bioventix creates and supplies antibodies for the use in blood testing machines in hospitals and other labs around the world to detect hormone levels for thyroid function, cardiac, fertility, oncology, infectious diseases types of research. Bioventix currently sells around 10 grams of purified physical antibody per year which is mostly exported at a list price of $550 per milligram. 70% of the annual revenue is from royalties of around 2% when the product is used by downstream end users. The most significant revenue stream continues to come from diagnostic companies around the world using the vitamin D deficiency testing antibody. Sales of this antibody increased by 23% to £3.4 million during the year. The end users include the five big machine manufacturers, J&J, Siemens, Roche, Abbott and Beckman Coulter. A significant project for Bioventix is a high sensitive troponin test project with Siemens. With Siemens recently gaining US approval from the FDA, this project with tests for heart attacks is expected to generate significant value in the future. The shipments of physical antibiotics to China also continues to increase. In the previous five years, Bioventix has had an increasing revenue from 3.54 million in 2014 to 8 million in 2018 and an operating profit margin from 63% to 86%, which gave it an average of 75.4%. The forecast for next year is a revenue of around 9 million and a margin of 79%. The generated earnings over the past five years has increased from 36 pence to 110 pence per share and the dividend has always been covered since 2015 by at least 1.5 times the earnings per share. The share price standard deviation for 2018 was 383 compared to 51 for the FTSE AIM index. The current share price is 73.7% above the 52 week intraday low. The interim report at the end of March reported that an internal audit of one of its customers identified a backdated royalty stream of £0.77 million. Also reported was that revenue was up 13%, profit before tax was up 36%, cash balances of £5.6 million and the first interim dividend would be up 20%. Full year results to June 2018 reported at the beginning of October that revenue was up 21%, profit before tax up 19% and an additional special dividend of 55 pence per share would be paid. Any cash balance in the company above 5 million will be paid out to shareholders as dividends. The share price has fallen recently 
but the potential growth is still reflected in the price earnings ratio of 27.9, but below the FTSE AIM average of 30.6. Bioventix pays a dividend yield of 2%, compared to the FTSE AIM average of 1.44%, and is covered 1.8 times by earnings. The current cash balance is £7 million, and it is debt-free and has a return on capital employed of 57.6%, and also has a profit margin of 86%. For these reasons, I have given Bioventix an overall rating of 4 out of 5. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments below. And also like and subscribe for further analysis of UK company businesses.